members of the serious and organised crime branch have been conducting investigations into relation to the trafficking of controlled drugs uh, within the state. As a result of that um, and some information that we received around Easter time this year, we um, attended and at Port Wakefield and stopped a truck. Um, a search of this particular truck was conducted with the assistance of our drug detection dogs. As a result of a positive indication of controlled drugs being on that truck, the truck was seized. It was returned to the Australian Border Force Container Examination Facility where it was further searched. During that search, police located a large quantity of methamphetamine, up to 50 kilos, um, contained within 10 uh, large plastic buckets. Also in those plastic buckets was um, uh, some horse feed that was concealing uh, the drugs within the buckets. Currently as we speak, uh, the, the remainder of the consignment of that truck is undergoing further examination at the Australian Border Force facility to determine if there's any other drugs uh, within the consignment. The, the drugs that we have seized um, are significant in quantity, they are significant in value. They are upwards of $25 million worth of drugs that we've stopped from hitting the streets of South Australia and stopped hitting the streets on other states um, in this country. The Serious and Organised Crime Branch and the detectives that are attached to that branch are ruthless and relentless in terms of stopping activity around illicit drug manufacture, production and trafficking. And we will leave no stone unturned to continue to investigate these types of offences so that uh, our communities are safe from the scourge of methamphetamine. Do you have any questions? Has anyone been arrested or charged in relation to this seizure? Yes, we've charged two people um, in relation to this particular seizure um, and we've searched three properties um, connected with those people who have arrested. Uh, one of those persons was likely to appear in the Elizabeth Magistrates Court later on today. Um, what, did you arrest the person who was driving the trunk? Yes, we did. Yeah. Do you have ages or genders of those people that have been arrested? Uh, yeah, two, two, two males um, aged in their 40s. And did, sorry, did you have a tip off to stop that truck or was it just a random stop? I can't talk too much today about the information that we received. It's an ongoing investigation. Suffice to say, uh, we did receive information that there was some activity surrounding this truck and this particular person in relation to drug trafficking. And to that end, uh, I encourage anybody um, in the community who knows of or is aware of people involved in drug trafficking activity, manufacture or production, to call Crime Stoppers. They can report this anonymously. As I said, we'll be ruthless and relentless in the way that we police this. So if people uh, do want to ring us, Give us information, rest assured that we will follow it up. Are those two men from South Australia? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. How does this compare to other drug seizures in the state? Is it one of the largest? Absolutely. Uh, this is one of the largest uh, methamphetamine seizures we've had uh, in, recent, in recent times. We've had some um, significantly sized drug laboratories in recent times that are capable of producing large quantities of methamphetamine, such as you can see here today. But in terms of a finished product, final product that we've taken off the streets, a very, very significant seizure. Can you say whether this has any connection to the biker gang, and if so, which gang? Uh, no, I can't. Investigations are pretty early on. We only discovered this uh, uh, yesterday morning. So we're still investigating all avenues, um, but I can't say at the moment that there's a known link to any OMCGs. Do you believe this is linked to a larger drug trafficking operation in the state? Traditionally, uh, investigations like this will uncover the fact that it's connected with serious and organised crime criminal syndicates. So we're not discounting the fact that it could be part of a, a broader syndicate. Again, we're only early in our investigation and we're still joining a lot of those dots up to find out exactly who's involved. Um, but it won't be unexpected if that's what we find. How concerning is this quantity? Uh, well, I think it, it goes to say, um, everyone knows that methamphetamine is really a scourge on our streets and affects a lot of people in a really negative way. So from what you can see here in front of you today, 50 kilos is, is a really significant seizure to go off the street. It um, will stop violence in families. It will stop violence on the streets. It will stop other crime types uh, that the addiction to methamphetamine drives. So uh, we're really happy um, as a policing organisation to take this off the street. And you said you searched three properties, was it? Were they across South Australia? Yes, they're all in the northern suburbs. Okay. Yeah, so we've found um, some other items of interest uh, to us, and I think we'll see here those couple of cash counting machines uh, that we've um, got here in front of us. So we've seized those, some other electronic items, 
and some, some other packaging type materials that we'll allege uh, was connected with this offending. Were both the men arrested in the truck that was seized? No. One of them was, though. One was. Yeah, the other one was at one of the properties. Correct. Yeah. Okay, excellent. No worries. Just stand there amongst it. <laughs>